Hey everyone, so in this video, I just wanted to take a look at an overlap tool that's currently in development by a developer named Adrian, and he sent over this tool called Puppeteer. And the great thing about this is that it's currently in development, so he's wanting to get feedback from animators and just get an idea of some of the things that we wanna see in a tool like this. So if you've watched any of my other videos on my YouTube channel, you'll notice that I use a lot of different type of like overlap tools. So I'll use Bro Dynamics, I'll use Elm Spring as well as Overlapper. And I just find these are a great way to really speed up the process for maybe for creating quick like overshoot type of details on an animation, or in this case for something like a tail that can take quite a bit of time to animate using a tool that you know, creates that overlap for you will allow you to get pretty far along and then you can do further adjustments and further refinement on it. So this tool is called Puppeteer and I'll just open up the website here. And if you want to, you can join the mailing list and it's got kind of an example video here of the tool. So you have, you know, drag options, overshoot, as well as stretch options. You can also key these values. You can kind of see a quick demo of it in this video. Um, but what I wanted to do is just take a look at this tool in a bit more of a real world example for a animation for creating a tail type of animation. So what I've got here is that IREX run cycle. And what I wanna do is see if this tool will allow me to create some overlap for the tail. So what I can do is go up here to the puppeteer tool and I'll open overlap. And this is the, the overlap tool. And I'll go ahead and just hit create. So I just wanna make sure first that I select all of the tail controls one by one, and then I can hit create, and that will run the puppeteer tool. And you can see we get these three different options. What I really would just wanna look at here is the drag option. You can see the examples in the video. We have the option for things like overshoot and stretch, but for this case, I just wanna take a look at the drag option for it. And we'll go ahead and just hit play and kind of see the results that we're gonna get. So you can see it's creating a little bit of overlap on the tail. And what we can do is start to adjust this drag option to start to fine tune this. So if I do something like this and just increase the drag, you can see it's doing something a little bit strange where it's increasing the drag kind of on the base. The tip of the tail really isn't moving. So it's not really producing the results that we'd want. And I'll just change that back to 0.5. And what I really like about this tool is the option to adjust the fall off. So if I hit the check mark button, this will give us the option to change the min and max values. So you can see already we're starting to get overlap that feels a little bit closer to what we would probably want. And then we also have these sort of pre-made fall off options here. So I can select this option. And now you can see we're starting to get something that feels a little bit better as far as the drag goes. So we're gonna adjust like the min value. And now you can see we're starting to get some really nice overlap on this tail that feels like it's matching the, the movement of the actual IREX itself pretty nicely. So it's getting some, some really nice overlap results. And you can see with a tool like this, it really speeds up the process. So we can use something like this to start creating that overlap that's going to follow the movement of the rest of the character. And then if we want to, we can actually start fine tuning these results and really getting it looking exactly how we want. But this gets us you know, pretty far along with basically just the click of a button. So again, this tool is currently in development and the developer Adrian is you know, wanting to get some feedback and wanting to get some ideas for you know, really making this a tool that animators will love to use. And just a few of the things that I know right off the bat that I would like to see in a tool like this is the ability to, when you bake it off, it just bakes to an animation layer. So having the option to bake this to an animation layer so that it adds this overlap that it creates to basically a non-destructive layer that you can either, you know, remove or show or delete if you don't like the results. So we do have the option to bake which I'll go ahead and do. And that's just going to bake this down to keyframes. It's going to remove that, that overlap. And now we can close this out. So now we just have the animation that it created for us. Now, another option I would love to see in the puppeteer tool is the ability to turn on cycle. So when it runs the tool, it will ensure that the first and last pose are exactly the same. So 
what's happening is that we're getting this really nice overlap on the tail. But as it goes through the process here, the last frame is not the same as the first frame. So we would want to make sure that for an animation like this and kind of a real world example, especially for a cycle, there's situations where you would want to make sure the first and last pose are exactly the same. So one way we can get around this is if we add an animation layer and a lock a keyframe on frame zero and then probably around like say 15 or so and then I'll just middle mouse click the keyframe on zero drag all the way to frame 26 press s and then that will copy that pose there and that's one way we can make sure that the the, the first and the last pose are the same but it would be great to have that that built into the actual puppeteer tool itself to make sure that the overlap it's creating is something that is cyclable and the first and last pose will be exactly the same. So if you guys are interested in a tool like this, you know that I use these types of tools a lot. So when I heard Adrian was actually developing a tool like this and wanting to get, get feedback on it, I was really interested in kind of testing it out and giving it a try. So if you guys are interested in looking at this and to get notified about its release, you can join the mailing list here. And if you have any feedback on this tool, things you would like to see in an overlap type of tool like this, um, definitely leave it in the comments below as this is a tool that, you know, Adrian is currently developing and really wanting to, to make sure that it's, you know, specifically built for animators and a tool that really has all the features they would want in an overlap tool like this. So yeah, this was just a quick video to kind of give a kind of a rundown of this tool that's currently in development. And if you're like me who does like to use overlap tools like Bro Dynamics and Overlapper and LM Spring, you'll probably be pretty interested in seeing, seeing how this tool develops. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. So thanks for watching.